capture the flag. Defense. Hello and welcome to the Forge Hub Testers Guild. I am Psychoduck, and today I'm heading up a uh, an attempt to try some video feedbacks for the guild. Uh, so the map I'm doing feedback for today is called Ambuscade by Ace of Spades. Uh, we played one flag CTF on this map, and this gameplay will show the entire match. Um, all of all of my screw ups and everything. So uh, hopefully this will be more valuable than just having a couple of paragraphs written down. Uh, I'll still try to give as much detail, but then you'll have, of course, all the video to back it up. So uh, with Ambuscade, there were definitely a lot of likes. They certainly outweighed the dislikes. Uh, the sand trap influence was awesome. Uh, definitely really nice aesthetic, looked great, uh, just felt felt great, you know, it, it worked really well. So, the sand trap influence, excellent. Um, now, the other likes, I mean, the game, just, the gameplay in general was just very solid, as I would expect from Ace of Spades, um, and it just, uh, you know, like I said, the aesthetic, the just generally solid gameplay in general. Uh, definitely a solid map overall. Now, there were, of course, some problems. Um, there were several. First of all, uh, the, um, the map had some uh, frame rate issues in single screen, and obviously, uh, if you're trying to get into the 4v4 objective playlist, that's not going to work because that, <laughs> that has to uh, uh, be playable in four player split screen. And I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say 4v4 objective remain. contest, but uh, the team objective contest. Um, and also, here's a problem. Uh, if you're going to have spawns in there, don't have a soft kill. I don't know if you had a soft kill on purpose and you didn't want spawns, or if you had spawns in there on purpose and you didn't want a soft kill. I think the area is great. I mean, I think it would work great if there just wasn't a soft kill in there. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the frame rate, uh, pretty much, it comes from all these struts. I mean, there's object density on this map is pretty high. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of struts, especially when there's the ones sticking up and then the ones below them, like supporting them, most of them aren't, are barely even sticking on the ground, they're not serving much purpose. Um, if you want this to be playable in 4v4, or er, in 4 player split screen, pretty much most of the struts are going to have to go. Now, if you want, if you're not so worried about that and you just want it to play in, uh, you know, single screen and whatnot, you still got to do a little bit. Um, you know, maybe replace all the s supporting struts on the bottom with uh, block 4x4s four uh, would probably be your best bet. But, um, yeah, just all the struts with all their glass and whatnot didn't work with uh, single screen sometimes. I think the video should pick up on the frame drops fairly well. Um, and there were just a few. So again, you know, it, single screen, you should be fine with a few minor alterations, but four-player splits just not going to happen without some pretty, pretty major uh, changes. Um, but anyways, as far as gameplay goes, the, uh, you know, it, like I said, the gameplay was very solid. Um, there were still some things that could have been better, like the, uh, of course, the, the cave with the. Um, uh, kill zone in it. For some reason, in this film, every time it switched rounds, it actually put me in the perspective of a different player, and somehow put me in first person, which I didn't even realize it could do in theater and reach. Um, <clears throat> so that, that's odd, but uh, pardon that. Um, so, anyways, yeah. As far as gameplay goes, I, I really liked how you had some things that were, you know, kind of harking back to Halo Three a little bit, like the overshield. Um, you know, and the gameplay in general just felt like more of a classic experience than a lot of what you see in Reach. Um, but I would say the Rocket Hog doesn't really serve its purpose that well in that, I mean, you know, the Rocket Hog's generally, uh, 
pretty good for countering other vehicles, like especially air vehicles or like larger vehicles like tanks or even revenants. But um, you know, against ghosts and infantry, it's not. Uh, it's just not very effective in it, especially when you have a neutral warthog. It's already very, uh, uh, <coughs> very weak uh, already, um, because you know to get a crew in it, you know you don't just have to get one guy in it for it to be effective. You got to get a crew in it, and if it's in the middle of the map, it's difficult. So uh, when it's something like the rocket hog, which just wasn't very useful to begin with on here, that's kind of. Uh, you know, that's kind of pointless. There's not really much reason to uh, try to get it then. So if that was a chain hog, I think that would work a lot better. Um, something One that you'll see later in the video is this pile of rocks over here was a bit weird. Uh, right here, I kind of I kind of try to go behind it, but you know, there's a kill zone there. But I guess that guy on top wasn't in a kill zone, so I would suggest doing something with uh, just putting kill zones on top of the whole rock arch or something like that because that that area is just a bit awkward right now um but anyways uh back to other gameplay the uh another problem was kind of the flag placement since the flag is back in this corner um there's not really you know there's not really room to spawn behind the flag you never really want in an objective map to have the like objective in the very back corner of the map because then the defender the defending team is going to always spawn in front of the flag or parallel with it and you kind of want them to spawn behind it um and that's awkward that was my phone <laughs> uh but anyways uh yeah, in, in this cave back here, if it wasn't kill zone, would uh, be better for that. But in general, just having the flag moved out a little bit, still in some sort of base-like hub, but not, uh, but not in the back corner. So, um, yeah, I would suggest doing something with kind of moving the objectives out a bit more. Um, and yeah, also here you can kind of see. There was a lot of frame rate from the top of, I suppose it's, I don't know, somewhere in the video it should be visible. Um, from, kind of from the top of the red base, uh, if you have a sniper rifle, just looking out towards the uh, the grav lift off to the left, that got some pretty bad frame rate a couple times, and you know, obviously that's that's bad. It's just it's just object density, really. I think. Uh, the problem is kind of the way objects were used on this map. They were used a bit more like they're used on 4v4 maps and smaller maps, which uh, you know just didn't quite uh, didn't quite work on here because of the map size and the kind of the longer sight lines and whatnot. So yeah, you don't really want that. I think I I do really like how the struts look, but I think replacing them might might not be such a bad idea. But anyways, here, here's the rocket hog again. Uh, just you know, not terribly effective again. I I did like the weapon choice on the map though, and the ghosts were also a lot of fun. I just think uh, having a, that hog be a neutral chain hog would be much better. Or another option would be to have a neutral ghost with a chain hog at each base. I think that would actually be a lot of fun because the map was pretty fun to drive around on, even if the driving paths were kind of restrictive. And um, I think that would just be a lot of fun to just kind of, uh, <clears throat> you know, ha have a bit more in the way of vehicle gameplay. One minute remaining. Another problem on the map was some spawning. There was, earlier in the match, a player spawned right in front of me. I think that maybe because he had just joined the game, though, because uh, someone had left and uh, he, was, he was a replacement, basically. But, um... You know, right there, a uh, player spawned right in front of me, and I think that happened a, a couple of times throughout the game to me and to other players in the match. Um, and of course, pardon my poor DMR skill. I was I was more uh, concerned about you know kind of exploring the map, uh, gleaming as much knowledge as I could about it than actually uh, just playing it and playing it well. Um, 
But anyways, I think that just about covers everything. Um, like I said, it's you know, solid map. It's it's not uh, it's not a throwaway by any means. It's uh, just needs some work in the area of uh, uh, rebalancing a little bit, uh, fixing frame rate issues, and then uh, of course. Um, you know, that one kill zone, and, you know, a couple other kill zones, but for the most part, it was definitely enjoyable, uh, definitely pulled off the sand, sand trap feel very well, just wish there were some elephants on it, uh, but anyways, I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the video, and, uh, that's all for me, though, so, uh, hopefully this video format is helpful, and, uh, I'd love some feedback on it, because, um, you know, uh, hopefully we can continue to do this in the future. So, alright. This has been PsychoDuck, and, uh, yeah. Thanks for using the tester skill. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag captured. Game over. <laughs> <laughs>